Hello and welcome to Elite Show Special. And today we will be looking at how to create a study area map. Most of the times, most students undergoing uh, their undergraduate project, MSc, PhD, just anything academics, and even some articles that is based on location requires to make a study area map. So today I will be making a study study area map of a location in Kano State. Nigeria. So I'm going to take you basic through how I make my study area maps and all that. So you must have data. So this data is the OSGOV data. That is the Office of the Soviet General of the Federation. And uh, I have all the state uh, attributes here, where all the 36 states plus the FCT is inclusive. So you can see them. And I have all the 774 local government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria all together here. So, and then I, ha I extracted that of just the Kano State. Yeah, so just the Kano State boundary. So I'm going to take you step to step, step by step how to produce a study area map. So what I normally do is that I'll come to inside and I'm going to add a data frame. So in this data frame, I'm just going to drop down the local government boundary there. Right, so I'm going to inside another data frame and this data frame I'm going to bring in the study area I'm working on right so uh, I have it inside here so it's Kano so I'll bring it in so it's in so this is the study area all right so basically this is where I'm going to be using so it's going to be Nigeria to Kano and Kano to the study area. So, all right. So here in this local government, it's not all the local government. I'm just going to extract the local government in Kano state. So I'm going to zoom to, I'm going to right click and go to open attribute. And then I could just go down and make selection of Kano, but I'm going to, I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to select by attribute. Okay. So uh, I'm going to select by attribute so the name is equals to so i'm going to get a unique layer so the unique layer will be oh sorry i'm going to um close it in i'm going to select by attribute so on this attribute i'm going to select uh, state equals to uh kano state so all the ones with kano state will come up so i'm going to verify the expression it said the version is successful so once i okay it's going to select out all the 444 local government in kano state so you can see that they are all selected if i click and come down to selection so that all the kano local government are selected so i'm just going to right click and uh come to data and then export data so I'm going to put this on an output. Let me leave it here. Let me say Kano LGA. So I'm going to save it and then I'll OK. So it's going to export, import, and then I'm going to remove this one. So let me activate this layer. So right click on the layer and then you activate. So it's just all the uh, 44 local government of Kano state that are all together so and then this is what I need for this so now from here I'm going to move into the layout view all right so on the layout view I have all of this separated all right so now it's my choice to either make this uh, a on a rectangle or I'll make it a uh, on sorry on portrait or on landscape so it's definitely my choice so depending on what you want actually so let me not just say it's my choice depending basically what you want all right so i'm going to expand this as a very big um column so uh i'm not going to go i'm, I'm going to make use of all the available uh, this to make this into what we want to make 
Okay, so um, this person I'm making for wants to have a fill of a four. So the local government containing this image is another thing we need to consider bringing on this. So I'm going to look at which local I think this is Kano Municipal. So I'm going to extract Kano Municipal from here. So I'll still right click and then this time around I can only check since it's Kano, Kano Municipal I'm interested in. So I'm just going to do that. Select the, is the 43 third local government. Excuse me, sorry, in Kano. So I'm just going to export it, right click. And I'm going to export it and then I'm going to name it as KMS, KMC, Kano Municipal Council. Alright, so that will be exported. Yeah. So I'm going to ask it to be included here. Now you see that it's definitely Kano Municipal, right? Okay, so I'm going to uh, clear this up and come back. So I'm just going to remove this from here. So let me remove it. And then I'm going to create another insert. That's another fourth layer now. So in this fourth layer, that's where I'm going to drag this to and remove this. All right, so uh, I'm going to make it like a four layer kind of. Okay, so I'm going to make a four layer kind of uh, data. All right, so it depends on what you definitely want. So that's what you're going to produce or what your department or what uh, you're working on actually. So now I have these four layers created. So I'm going to start making adjustments to it. That's, I'm going to start um, zooming. So I'm going to start with the study area map area where it's a garden in. Uh, in Kano, right? So I'm going to also grab this pan tool to make adjustment. All right, so I'm going to do this. All right, so I'm making adjustment to this. So I'll leave it like this, and uh, I'll come to this uh, this one. I'm going to come and activate this one here. So I'm going to activate the. So it's on this now. So I'm going to also make adjustment to which scale it's going to be. All right, so it's currently at scale 100,000. If I add again, it's going to be going up. So let me reduce it. Okay, so I can also decide to add uh, the local government to it so that it won't really be like I, I just make it as a standalone. So I'm going to do that so that we could name them. Likewise, here I'm going to add the Kano state. I'm only going to add the other state boundary to it so that it will be that uh, we didn't just make it a standalone so that other states participating can be in this, right? So I'm going to uh, now come here too. I'm also going to make adjustment of the scale. So I'm going to make it like this. Then I will leave everything like this. So it's just those adjustments I'm going to make. So I'm going to make this to have the same place with this. I'm going to extend this small. All right, so I'm just making final adjustments so that we could finish up with this production. Okay. Because each of them I'm going to add uh, the attribute to this all right so i can decide to even put the uh the municipal in this but i'm not going to do that now so basically we have we already have something of this nature right so i'm going to make this a hollow all right so make it hollow okay let's remove this local government we don't need it i'm just going to make it hollow and then i'm going to make this uh a kind of I'm going to make all of them this so I'm coming to this kernel the entire kernel now I'm going to make it maybe let's say it's not kernel we are in municipal that we're interested in right so here we're interested in the municipal so the municipal will also be in in the second version okay so add municipal to it so municipal is what we are looking at here 
So let's zoom and see if the municipal is selected. So I'm going to still make it on the same color. And then I'll make this a hollow. So the municipal is selected in this. So we are only going to zoom this so that we have the municipal selected inside the canal. Okay. So let's do that now. So we grab this and the idea is to just make sure only the local government close by to the municipal are selected. Okay. Now let's bring this down because here we're supposed to show with the the entire state with these other adjoining boundaries. So you see here that we're going to do that. So we'll now make here uh in this. So we're going to now start labeling them. Alright, so so let's start labeling and doing one or two things to this. Okay, so uh we'll now make pick this. So under here we right click and we go to properties. On properties we click we are already on grid so we'll click on new grid and uh, we'll just make it uh yes let's make it that and then we we'll just tick only then we can just go to finish. So we we'll apply and see how it's looking at on there looking like on it. But the level is very small, so go to properties. Now on the property, we increase this to 6 to 12, then we'll darken it. Now here is another thing you're going to do, because if you check here, you see that, let me okay this so that we see what I'm saying. If you check here, you see that this is moving side by side, so we want it to look like this, like this, so it we want it to go up like this so to do that right click again and go to properties and then properties so here you're going to check left and right so you okay you apply so you see that it's done the way we want it all right so we okay and then we drop it down so that we can have uh so we'll do same to this right click go to properties new grid yes label then we check to finished go to properties we increase this to 12 we bold in it and then we check left and right okay okay all right so we'll make adjustment because they are conflicting right now we shift them small to the left and to the right so that we can have a space in between them okay so uh we could also make an adjustment to this so that we can have more space all right so yeah, so we come down to this and we do the same thing. New grid. Next. Okay, we are only doing levels so that we don't have any. So we'll do the same thing. Properties. Increase this to 12. Bolden it. Left right okay okay and then we do the last thing with this property new grid next label only next next finish properties and we increase this to 12 bolding it left and right then okay we okay 
so now we're just going to make the adjustment we needed okay so we'll make a shift to this we decrease this small so that we could have space decrease this small We could also make an adjustment to this grading to have enough um, space and all that. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to label this. So we'll go on. We're coming on the. We're coming on the local government and then we're going to label them now. So we'll go to labels, check on label this future, then it's their names now. Then let's say we bolden it and we check that it should only be labeled inside the polygon. So let's OK it and see. So you see that they are labeled, they have names, let those local government close by it. So it's going to do same. So let's come up here and do the same thing so we're going to right click on the state layer this time around to know which state it is. so we we'll now go to properties and uh we're going to check this and then it's going to be the state name not the capital and then we we'll do the same thing here placement we we'll say let's only label it in, in uh then we say remove duplicate labels then we okay we can bold in it and we okay so you see the states that are joining to it we have jigawa we have bauchi kaduna katsina i think there may be other states but these are the only ones showing and then the kano itself all right so we come here for the last round and then right click on the state and then we go to properties So here we're going to click on labels and uh, we'll also do the same thing. Same, it should only label the inside. Uh, so we're building it and we're okay. So it's going to label all of these states. So once we have all of these, the next thing is uh, we're going to create uh, a neat line. Okay, so to do that, I will just basically come and use the draw tools. So I'll right click if I'm not seeing the draw tools, then the draw is already out. Okay, see it here. So I'm clicking on it and then I'm going to open this more wilder. So I'm going to make a selection. So and then I'm going to right click, go to its properties, and then I'll select no color and I'll leave it. I will do the same thing for this other one here. So I'm going to make a selection. Right click, go to properties, no color, leaving it at one outline. <coughs> so let's zoom out so that I can make a final adjustment for it to be on the same level. Okay. Okay, so we do the same thing with the layer down. And uh, we will now do the same thing with this layers here.
just make a neat adjustment so that you don't uh, flop okay so I'll do the same thing right click go to fill and then remove color and all that and I believe you're getting the yeah now we're getting how we are doing this so it's just your mastery that will give you an edge when you're doing things like this okay so uh so we still need to name it i'm going to make a selection all through it and see so we still need to name the whole of these things so let's we have to draw this down let's draw them down small so that we could have space So, we're making this adjustment so that we could have where to write name on top. Okay, so, and then we come up and make adjustment to these people here. So, we... okay so we draw this down so that we could have space to write name the idea is so that we can have space to write name above all right so so now we can now say we have successfully produce a study area map but then it's supposed to bring out not arrow and uh and uh so to bring out your node arrow right go to inside and then you add a new node arrow so let me add this very node arrow okay so i'm going to put this node arrow here because of space so We'll add what again now. So we go we will now defend to add we we'll begin to add individual uh uh this for each of the sites. So I'm going to add the legend of this site. So the legend in this I will only be stating and the state the states as in all the states in Nigeria and then the kind of state itself, all right? So let's finish it and then I will drag it and drop it here reduce it small okay we come here we click on this we activate it we do the same thing legend this is going to carry these three things so we we'll now go so we we'll zoom up so that we can place the legion well so we can place the legion here and uh, we'll do same thing here we'll place this legion here so by activating this and then we insert 
Andrew inside the legend. So it's going to be Kanwe LGA and uh, KMC. So we drag this. I will use it a bit and drop it here. So finally, this is the study area and then just it. So basically, we'll now write the name of the study area. So I think my client gave me a name. So I'm just going to go to the WhatsApp and I'm going to check our chat. So he said, what is the name? Let me check it up. So he sent me a sample. Let me check. He said it's no. Okay. Let me check one that was produced for him. Say map of Nigeria showing Kano State. Okay, so I think he wanted us to write each of write name on each of this map of Nigeria showing this map of this. Okay, now let's do that. All right. So let's grab our text. Where is the text? Okay, it's here. So I'm just going to write map of Nigeria showing. Kano state. So I'll okay it. So we we'll do same with here map of Kano showing so here will be map of Kano showing the KMC. Is that what we have on now? We have map of Kano showing Kano Metropolis, that is the, Kano, the KMC. Okay, so uh, map of Kano showing Metropolis. Okay, so we'll grab our text. Map of Kano. What happened? I will double click and then we say map of Kano showing Metropolis. Oh, we say Kano Metropolis since Kano Metropolis. So we okay. So we have to reduce this font or we make it a double line so that we don't interchange with other things. So I'm going to make a change in the, so let me say six and apply and see. All right, so that will work. So map of Kano showing Metropolis. So we could darken it as well. So we'll make it bold. So we'll make it bold so that it can so that it can be shown that yeah it is something there so we we'll do the same to this first one here so map of nigeria showing kano and map of kano showing uh the metropolis then map of the metropolis showing the study area so making them a four uh Format. So let's make this bold and then we OK. And we OK. Then we come down to the last part of this. We have the map of Metropolis showing the study area. All right. So let's grab our text tool and we say we double click on it and we say map. of metro police showing 
study area okay so we now okay it and then supposed to dark, make it dark okay 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 so and then we have the study area as well so and i've already made adjustment making it down so i think we don't need that anymore i think we're supposed to just make I have to adjust them back up since we've been able to create all of this. I think we don't we no more need uh, so let me still adjust them and finally save them. Okay. That we could find a way of putting everything that we want so this can be come down here so let's make an adjustment so let's zoom to make adjustment all right so i have to also reduce this and then we move this up here and then we can decide to increase this since we have space now and then we find a place of putting this uh let's reduce it and put it up here somewhere so we'll still reduce this so that this can enter So that this can enter, okay? Is that okay? Okay. So we have this put here and then we are good to go so it can be three times it can be a three kind of map like it can be just nigeria to the state and then to the study area it could be something of this nature depending on what you or your supervisor wants you have to follow all right so basically this is this will bring this tutorial to an end all right so i take any comment take suggestion if you have any better way of making this or anything just reach us up on the comment section and we will take new duly consideration this is sponsored by someone who has been disturbing me to make a study area map i decided to do this to benefit everyone who is in need of making the study area map all right so this is the end of this tutorial but before we go let's export our map so i'm just going to come up here and then one more thing you need to do is we're going to create a neat line that will cover everyone so i'm going to create a neat line from here i'll cover it down to this one so i'll right click go to properties and then yeah so okay now i'm not going to zoom to check and make an alignment okay i think it's not aligned so we could align this to this so then we we'll align align this one to this so we check this side and we align then we also align this to it so now we have a neat line that covers the entire map so right click on the file and then we export map
So we're going to export the data as a PDF or as a JPEG, depending on what your client wants. So I'm going to do that as JPEG, and I'll also do that as PDF. Okay, that's exported. So I'll go back there, export, and uh, this time I'm going to put it as PDF, and I'll still put KMC. So just finish exporting. All right, so take care and uh, consider to share our video, like, comment, and uh, watch it over and over and over until you understand. Thank you, and I love you.